Modernizing traditional workflows requires building cloud-first solutions. Join us in historic downtown Austin, Texas, as we talk to SADA Systems about their cloud architecture and how they've built Atom. So let's talk about Atom. Mm -hmm. What does the architecture look like for Atom? Atom's architecture is very robust. Everything is built on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, we're leveraging Kubernetes engine for all of the different microservices, and there's a various uh, array of portals within Atom. Each portal may have three or four various uh, types of microservices that back uh, that infrastructure. It gives us the flexibility of specifying the right tool for the job, which means we can say, hey, this data is very relational, very uh, specific in the way that it's laid out. We can back that with a Cloud SQL uh, database, whereas other data within Atom is very non-relational and dynamic based on whoever the client may be and what asset class they have. So we can specify that database to be uh, a NoSQL solution uh, hosted on MongoDB Atlas. Uh, specifically, we have uh, data flow jobs where we pull data in from all the various DOTs that we work with or different agencies, and they have data today in their Esri server or their ArcGIS server that we pull from and then real-time display within Atom. And so that whole experience is more or less seamless through Google Cloud Platform. So what other tools inside of Google Cloud are you using? So we use almost the full gamut, uh, specifically around logging, tracing, um, a lot towards developer productivity so that we can be agile enough to respond to the demands of the customer. So we're, we're pushing uh, code very regularly um, on a weekly, almost bi-weekly basis. And for us to be able to do that, we need the platform to do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of automation, uh, in terms of security best practices. So the, the command center, um, threat detection, you name it, we're leveraging the tools to, to help boost developer productivity. And that's, that's our big win on Atom, is enabling everybody on the team to be comfortable with the platform and uh, proficient at provisioning these services. Yeah, you talked a little bit about Kubernetes being kind mm -hmm. of the cornerstone of a lot of this architecture. Why Kubernetes? So Kubernetes gives us the availability to scale based on demand, both horizontally and vertically. So we're not running hundreds and hundreds of VMs at you know 10% utilization. We're able to utilize our resources very effectively, which ties directly into the pricing models uh, that we offer these DOTs. We can be very competitive because we are optimizing our consumption. And so where that plays a big role is we have periods of time throughout the day where we have a high amount of traffic and load, specifically around our download and uh, offline consumption. So. In the traditional sense, somebody will, will go out and perform a bridge inspection. Now, before they go out, they realize, hey, I'm not gonna have cell connectivity in this, in this location. So what they do is they download everything that they need to do on the job site, and then they work fully offline. So when they regain connectivity, obviously all of those updates come back to the application we have a robust pipeline uh, with PubSub and uh, and what have you, but the actual services themselves need to scale very rapidly to that demand. Because as you can imagine, at the end of the day is when all of the inspectors come back to their hotel rooms, they, they regain connectivity, and it's eight plus hours worth of work now getting pushed over to our application. So the ability to respond to that demand has been very critical. And that's that's the primary uh, reason why we use Google, uh, Kubernetes Engine um, for that. So you mentioned developer productivity earlier. Has Google Cloud helped you with making sure that your developers are more productive while working on Atom? Yeah, so developer productivity has drastically increased um, since we've adopted Google Cloud Platform and, and really started leveraging the full gamut. Um, we can tie in resources such as logging and tracing into these intuitive dashboards that can give a holistic view of the application to our development team. We no longer need very specialized resources that specialize in, in building these dashboards or, or knowing some outside tooling that, that they can 
tie into a, a pipeline or a CI CD environment. Whereas now our developers can get back to writing code um, quickly and, and efficiently. And that's essentially the gamut of what we use today. And we continue to use things like Cloud Run to offload some of our uh, nightly jobs, um, crons and, and, and what have you. So it sounds like Atom was built with a very cloud first architecture in mind. When you were implementing this, were there any things that you wish were different in Google Cloud? Yeah, so uh, when we first started the product, um, identity platform wasn't a thing, and now it is. Uh, ideally, we would like to en encompass everything within Google Cloud Platform. It gives us true visibility. We don't need to go to numerous systems and applications to see where we stand in terms of identity. Um, it, it would be ideal if it was all within one platform, which is what our goal has been. Um, so we use uh, Okta today and Ideally, we'd be leveraging uh, Identity Platform. Well, thank you so much, Oleg, for coming in and telling us about how SADA built these solutions in the cloud. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more customer interviews on Stack Chat.